Hi! First thing I'll show you how to animate is particle effects. Simply how to turn them off and off like these flickering lights, changing their properties, and making them move. And I'll also show you how to use lighting effects. And after this tutorial, you're gonna be making your own Roblox Harry Potter movies. Gotta get my fire effect. Import the effects you're using, choose your properties, then make two keyframes for each effect. Select a keyframe and press 7 to change the value. Now to make an effect move, make sure you have the C frame selected. Make a keyframe. Go into Studio's Movement Controls. Move the object, click back into Moon Animator and make a keyframe. Now you can do some fun stuff like changing colors, recreate a change of things scene, or make your fire effect fly across the place. Particles really do add a level of cinematography into your movie, but what really makes it come to life is the lighting effects. For the lighting, you need atmosphere, sky, bloom, depth of field, and sun rays. So the atmosphere controls the light transmission from the sky through distant objects. Atmosphere settings rely on there being a sky in the lighting surface. Essentially, the atmosphere settings will work unless there's a sky there. The bloom effect makes brighter colors glow. The depth of field makes parts of a scene blurry. And the sun rays renders a halo of light around the sun. These are some extra things I play around with when I'm animating. The technology setting is like the most important one. That's the one that really adds more realism. I usually just use the shadow map one for exterior shots and the future setting for interior shots, as well as the ambient settings. As you can see, there's no complicated magical spell to make stuff like this. Playing around with the lighting effect is honestly my favorite part of filmmaking because it just adds a lot to your world. And it's just so satisfying to see the finished result after you spend like an hour playing around with the settings trying to get what you want. Anyways, I have more tutorials about animation and another one coming next month. Give this video a like if it has helped you or tell me so in the comments. Thanks for watching, good luck, and have fun animating.